Hey guys, hope you're having an amazing day today. So I have some very interesting news. Um, so we know AMD is in the GPU market, of course. We know Nvidia is in the GPU market. They're one of the main players, AMD and Nvidia. But now Intel as well. Now we know Intel has graphics cards, right? They got integrated graphics card. But now they're gonna have discrete graphics card or dedicated graphics cards, right? And they're gonna take one out this year, um, very soon actually. And they they're calling this the Intel XE graphics card. But check this out: Intel's high-end gaming GPU sparks into life, and it's rumored to challenge Nvidia's RTX 3070. Now, this article talks about the Intel XE DG2. Uh, so, other, in other words, the second generation of their XE graphics card. That it might challenge the RTX 3070, which is awesome because we know the 3070 has amazing performance. So, And Intel is pretty new to the uh, dedicated graphics card market. So... That's actually pretty awesome. But check this out here. Our first discrete GPU, the DG1, is now shipping and will be insistent for multiple original equipment manufacturers later in Q4. And we also power our next generation GPU for client DG2. So that's the second generation of the XE graphics card. Based on our XE high performance gaming architecture, this product will take our discrete graphics capability up the stack into the enthusiast segment. So yeah, this graphics card is going to be awesome. They're calling it the XE HPG. Um, I'm, I'm thinking the G is for gaming because when you see their, um, their different architectures over here, they have three distinct micro architecture. They got the XE HPC, which is for uh, data centers and supercomputers. They got the XE HP, which is for high performance uh, GPU, for so basically for gamers, you could say, and enthusiasts and workstation professionals. And then they got the low budget XE LP, which is uh, low performance. So this one, as I mentioned, is the HPG. It's not here. It's not over here. So I'm guessing G is uh, like an HP but specifically for the gaming uh, sector. But yeah, this car is it's going to be incredible. If they could really, really, if they could actually uh, compete with the RTX 3070, it's going to be awesome. Now, the DG1, which is the first generation one, the, the one that's, gonna, that's already chipping, as they mentioned, uh, it was first powered in October 2019. So when can we expect to see this uh, DG2? in the market i will say if it's if it was power on in october 2019 and they're starting to ship it now in almost basically it's almost november 2020 so i will say give it a year you know so maybe november 2021 is when they're going to be uh taking out this uh, second generation xe intel cars now the dg1 if you want to look it up in google it's called the uh, intel iris XC Max, that's the DG1. I don't know if they have an official name yet for the DG2, but yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's supposed to compete with Nvidia and AMD. Now, what is the specs? Well, uh, they say it might challenge the 3070, and they actually mentioned that it already started coming up in the system requirements for Steam. I'm gonna show you that here. This is uh, the system requirement for that game that they mentioned, and you can see here graphics. You got your NVIDIA recommended, you got your AMD car, and you got your Intel XE HPG car, which is a second generation. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's coming up, it's getting recognized now as a, uh, you could say, a, a graphics car that could actually play the games that you want to play. Based on what we've seen for the first generation graphics card, right? The one that I mentioned before, the Intel Ares 
XC Max. It's supposed to play games at 1080p, 60 frames per second. Some people say it actually plays a little lower, so instead of 60, maybe lower than that, which is not good because 60 frames is, I would say, the minute, the basic to have a, a good gaming performance, 60 frames per second. But yeah, apparently this new second generation DG2 is going to be up there with the RTX 3070. And they are expecting it to have 16 gigs of RAM DDR6. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. I've, I really do feel this is going to come out at the end of next year. And by that time, NVIDIA and AMD are going to have something up their sleeve. But it's great that Intel is getting into the GPU market and... Yeah, I can't wait to see what the second generation can do and how they could build up from there into the third and fourth generation of their graphics card. And hey, you could maybe get an awesome deal too, you know. Um, not only do you get your Intel CPU, which is uh, kind of not popular anymore. <laughs> Everybody wants the AMD Ryzen CPUs, but anyways. Um, you could get like a bundle, right? You could get your... Nvidia, I mean sorry, you could get your Intel CPU, you could get a discrete, a dedicated graphics card, and maybe they could give you a nice uh, price for all of that. And you could still play your games and everything. Something I recommend Intel to do is not to go too crazy, I mean, I think if you play games at 1440p, 60 frames per second, I think that's, that's really good. You don't have to go like 4K. If you could, then that's great, but I don't think most people play 4K because 4K monitors are expensive. And if you're going to play 4K, you need to have a 4K monitor as well. You can't just have a, a machine that could play 4K and then use a 1080p monitor. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. So, yeah. So, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see how it performs. Uh, they definitely have to do some work on it, but like I said, Maybe in another eight to nine months, we're going to be seeing this in the market. But it's great that Intel is now um, getting into this market. You know, the more competition, the better because you have uh, better technology. So, yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe. And I will be selecting the winner uh, for the Alienware. 10% discount coupon. I'll be making that video uh, right after this one. Alright, stay safe out there guys. Peace.